So here we have the Vauxhall Mocha on an 18 plate. We're going to hop in and run through some controls first of all. Okay, now that we're inside the car, we're going to start with the dials. On the left-hand side, we have the rev counter. On the right-hand side, the speedometer. In the middle at the top, we have the fuel gauge and coolant temperature gauges. And beneath that, a digital readout for the speedometer. You can change the information displayed there by using controls on the indicator stalk. And at the very bottom of that section, you can see the total miles of this car, which are 19,742. To the right-hand side of that, you can see it says P. Uh, that is to show that the car is in park. This has got an automatic gearbox in this car. If we back out to the steering wheel, on the left-hand side, first of all, we have cruise control and speed limiter. On the right-hand side, we have stereo and phone controls. The phone controls can only be used after such time as you pair the phone up to the car. And that is done on the touchscreen in the center by hitting the phone icon uh, and then following the instructions up on the screen uh, just there. We're gonna go back to the home screen. You can see this car's got satellite navigation. There's a full video showing how the sat-nav system works, which you can find on our website and YouTube channel. When it comes to audio in this car, uh, we have got the radio, of course. You can see we have DAB radio just there. This car's also got AM um, and FM, and then back round to DAB. If you're listening to your own music, you can do. Nothing is connected at the moment. You can connect up an auxiliary device, a USB device. You can also stream your music wirelessly via Bluetooth audio as well. Working our way down from that, we have the dual zone climate control. So uh, you can adjust the passenger temperature, the driver temperature. You can increase, decrease the fan speed. Determine where you'd like the air to be distributed along the top here. When you're happy with those settings, this button turns your air conditioning off in this case or back on again. Or hit auto. The car will now maintain the temperatures you've asked for by taking full control of the fan speed for you. Any manual adjustment will override that straight away and you can put it back on your own settings here. Any adjustment you make to any of these settings, as well as showing here, will temporarily show along the bottom of the screen as you make the adjustment itself. We have a heated driver's seat and a heated passenger seat, both with three different heat settings each. Underneath that, we can turn the traction control off. We have our hazard warning lights, of course. In there, we have a 12 volt charging socket, as well as the auxiliary and USB inputs. We then have the gear lever for the fully automatic gearbox, on top of which we have this button just here. This will enable you to change up and down a gear manually with this automatic gearbox, should you wish to do that. All that leads me to say is thank you for taking the time to watch this video. If you'd like to come and see the car in person and have a test drive, please feel free to call any of our MJA sites. We'd love to hear from you soon.